The squirrels are ready. The tent is ready. The ovens are ready. But it looks like we're gonna need a bigger fridge. Bake Off is back. And here's our Baker's Dozen. Now I've been baking for years. And the key to good baking is preparation and patience. And as I say, keep calm and bake on. Oh God! I need to replace my cake, temper my chocolate and make my Italian meringue. Has anybody seen my novelty pastry crimper? Now we did ask for enough petty four for a Jubilee street party and it seems you've only given us one. I'm the chairwoman of my local WI. I've won countless awards for my cream horns and my Devonshire split. For my showstopper, I'm sticking to what I know best, which is being a granny. My cake is based on my littlest granddaughter's favourite character. As a structural engineer, you wouldn't think that I have time to bake, but I find nothing more relaxing than being elbow deep in a sourdough starter. I base my structural dimensions on building a gingerbread palace de Versailles and this calculated formula should help me with the cooking time. Now that appears to be more Baroque than Baroque. I love nothing more than foraging in the local woods for fruit, nuts and fungi. If Mother Nature ain't dropped it from a tree, I ain't baking with it. I don't believe in contributing to climate change. No oven, no fridge. Every single one of my bakes will be organically set under Mother Nature's glorious rays. Oh. I think I should swap my cake fork for a straw. <laughs> I might be a busy man to five energetic boys and a little girl, but I make sure I've got time to do my baking in my night classes, which are doing jujitsu, beekeeping, plastering and crafting. Can you guess what it is? I made it at home. The game of scones. <laughs> I think it's scones. It's scone. It's scones. It's scone. Scones. Na, 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 Listen, there's nothing girly about baking. After I've had a kickabout with the lads on the rugby field, I'll often get my buns out so everyone can tuck in. You probably think my hero is a sports star, but no, my cupcake is based on one of the most inspirational women there is. When playing your rugby, do you ever play for the other team? Well, between pottering on the allotment, bathing dogs and bracing pigeons, I've got time for frills or fancies. I'm a simple baker. Well, I don't do buttercream, I don't do sprinkles, and I don't do meringues. So forget what they're given. Did you consider putting buttercream, sprinkles, or even a meringue on top? It's just a rusk. I've been watching Bake Off since it began. I'm such a huge fan of Ed, Joanne, John, Francis, Nancy, Nadia, Candice, Sophie, Raoul, David and Peter. There's nothing they can throw at me that will faze me. The judges would like to see 12 identical South African Coke Sisters Herzogis. These are jam tarts. These other bitches better look out because my milkshake cake brings all the boys to the yard. Oh, crrr. Do you know what? I don't know whether I should flour my finger or grease it before I make the insertion. Now I must say, you've got a great penetration of that drizzle. Oh, Miss Hollywood's bald. Oh, I don't use recipe books, no. I like to experiment, you know. Sweet and sour, dry and moist. 
and look up everything is sprinkles. <laughs> well, for my celebration cake, I'm doing a twist on carrot cake. So I'm using grated horseradish and topped with a wasabi and tamarind icing. And sprinkles! Trust me, I've had more soggy bottoms than Rita Fairclough's addition rinses. I don't need a timer. I've been baking since I was a nipper. I've nature's timer right here. Exciting. Let's have a look. <coughs> 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 Every one of my bakes is a special creation with its own individual personality. Each cupcake is like a child to me. I'm making every cupcake look like an individual fairy princess. What lives under the sea with mermaid kittens. Mm. I think this competition will be a breeze. As a dinner lady, I'm used to cooking sweet treats for loads of greedy gobs at school. And them's just the teachers. Well, this recipe calls for something called creme patissiere. I'm using this. Mm, lovely flavour. This is some of the best creme pat I've ever tasted. Delicious. The Great Isolation Creations Bake Off. Who's your star baker? On your marks, get set, bake. I love that.